<laughs> yeah, let's let's move on to the next one. Um, so, uh, one of the things that me and my friends have kind of always talked about, and it's it's almost become like a, a running joke in a sense, is that the Shrek soundtrack is the greatest album of all time. <laughs> Um, but like genuinely, I mean, genuinely that album is, is really fantastic. And, and there was a lot of really great songs featured. They kind of, you know, strayed into interestingly kind of a alternative, uh, world for some of it. Like you have bands like, you know, the Eels and, uh, you guys on it. And it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, how yeah. did it come about that your song was featured in the movie and also on the soundtrack? Um, it's a good story. How, how old are you? Uh, I'm 20. I just turned 20. You're 20? Okay, so yeah, yep. you would totally think that that's the greatest record of all time. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I get it. Totally get it. Um, no, I was living in Los Angeles. I was an artist on DreamWorks Records. And yep. they had a huge film department, huge animation department. And um, so they would call in their artists to, to write for the movies. And um, so, I mean, sometimes I'd be like the only artist that would kind of show up to these things. And... Uh, this particular, uh, the screening of Shrek was, it was about half done, and Jeffrey Katzenberg himself actually came out and said, like, okay, here's what you're going to see. You're going to see, like, fully animated scenes, and then you're going to see, like, you know, a, a sketch drawing, you know, of literally like a, a stick man. Yep. And um, so we, we all sat and watched it, and I thought it was great, and I was just so excited to, um, to work on, A, animation, and B, something that Eddie Murphy was in, because I'm a big Eddie Murphy fan. And um, so I wrote the song in my car on the 101 the way, on the way to my house, and that was like a Friday. And so Monday I had a full demo, and I took it in, and um, <laughs> I played it for, for Luke Wood and, and Michael Austin and Mo Austin. And um, it was kind of weird because um, I played it for them, and they were like, oh my God, this is perfect. <laughs> they were looking for something to replace All Star, which was opening the film. Okay. And I, they, everyone kind of collected feeling of that you know what all star we've everyone's heard that song by smash mouth we were kind of sick of it it's, yeah. kind of, it's opened every film for the last 30 years or whatever so the the goal was to replace that song and um so i played it for them they were like oh my god you nailed it and i have just remember like mo austin kind of having this weird senior moment on me um <laughs> i said um okay well awesome you know just let me know if um just let me know. Let me know what, uh, what happens. I mean, just give me a call. And Mo Austin went, "You'll you'll go to the movie theater and you'll hear the song in the movie. That's when you'll know." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, that's cool too. You know, uh, that's fine." And then after that, we proceeded to get the song into production. So um, Eric Valentine came in, who had produced All Star, okay. and we hit it off. And, and he had just moved into Crystal Studios and in, in, um, in Hollywood and. Uh, we, we tracked the song in a weekend, and then he massaged it for a while, and then um, they were like, congratulations, you're opening our film, and then I got a call basically saying, like, nope, Jeffrey Katzenberg wants America to hear All-Star one more time. <laughs> so uh, I got moved to the end credits. Damn it, Katzenberg. Uh, it, it was, <laughs> yeah, yeah so it was, it, which, which happened to me, like, over and over again um, <laughs> in the subsequent years that followed, but... The cool thing was is that I was the only cat that, that wrote an original song for that film, and it became a huge film. It was the biggest film of the year. And, yeah, yeah. Um, so I had these cool little CDs of, like, you know, for, for your consideration, Matt Matthews, stay home from Shrek for the Oscars. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I'm going to walk into the Oscars. I'm going to beat Paul McCartney and Elton John. It didn't happen. <laughs> but it was still really cool. And honestly, Shrek was kind of the gift that kept on giving because once we lost our deal with DreamWorks, um, I I started to score, and I started to score the alternate endings for the subsequent films, and um, roller coasters, and Yule Logs, and I recreated the entire thriller video with the cast, and you know all these crazy disparate things that just kept um, kept making me money, and and um, and the animation department loved me, and I was so thankful that I signed with DreamWorks, and, and had that experience, and was able to move up the rung of animation. That's what I do now. You know, I score for. Nickelodeon and Disney, and um, that's what I do all day long. And so that that kind of started the whole process of scoring animation. 